ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be finishing up at the Powerflex 525 drive where we're going to be running the drive in remote control using MOP, speed control with up and down buttons and also we're going to be checking out the multi-frequency uh, multi setup so if you missed the last two videos where we commissioned drive and run for local uh, local control plus after that we've done a video for 2i, 3i control and also we use an external potentiometer do check out those videos in the description below all manuals, related videos, anything else that would uh, help you out in any possible way you can find out in the description below so without further ado, let's get cracking <music> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first station for our MLP control is going to look like that. We will have a switch to run forwards, run reverse, and we're going to be adjusting speeds by up and down a button. Pretty much what these two buttons can do, but we're just going to be doing it remotely, and Alan Bradley calling that as MLP. Like some drivers call it differently, but uh, Alan Bradley is calling it as MOP. B. So, before we get started with all the programming and how it's all done, let's go through the wiring. So, as always, as you watch, if you watch the last two videos, we have a e-stop signal in here, where the S plus coming to it goes through it, goes through it, then sends signal back to S1, where S1 and S2 is linked out for our e-stop. Then a uh, terminal uh, 11 comes in here for the next uh, normally closed contact, goes through normally closed close contact and then sends power to all the switches where run forward is terminal 2, run forward is terminal uh, 3 and uh, MOP up is terminal 5 and MOP down is terminal 6 and I'm not sure I just mentioned that, that uh, pass uh, after the after the, this uh, signal when uh, one comes in uh, the cable goes back to terminal 1 in front in here so that's how uh, the wiring is done for MLP control but let's look into how to set this up as you probably already guessed it the, the up and down as uh, MLP controls has to be preset and you can do that in digital inputs as we remember and that is uh, right here as you can see MLP up it will be 17 and MLP down it will be 18 and you assign them to whichever uh, free input you wish pretty much we still have two more inputs left you can put a jog on there or anything else so uh, I like when there's a generous amount of inputs you can do all sorts of different things with it and a uh, really good station so so we used a terminal 5 and terminal 6 so we have set those numbers in them respectively quickly show you again that is done in a T and T65 as you can see 17 and T67 represents the terminal 16 uh, terminal 6 and that will be down next we need to tell the system where uh, to read the frequency from so we do need to tell them to read frequency from MLP, which is a selection a nine in a, in, a, in a reference selection section. So that'll be prompt up uh, uh, P47. P47. There you go. That's selected to nine. So now he's going to understand that he needs to look for the MLP, and he already knows they are there by this uh, page. Next. We are pretty much ready to go, but there's some several couple of other things that you can do. Uh, one of them will be the sensitivity of the actual buttons, which I'm going to show in a minute. That is very much determined by a acceleration time of what I call the MOP acceleration uh, time. Uh, 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 acceleration the acceleration. So, so if you look in a uh, uh, definitely check out the page 116 if you want to go dive a bit more deeper into this. So you can see down here at the moment, for if you would hold the button down, A430 will determine. So by the time, if you hold the down, uh, button down all the time, it will take 10 seconds to accelerate to that full speed. So you can change that in here, how that pretty much will determine uh, the sensitivity of the buttons. And there's a couple of other settings in there, especially if you look at the A428. Uh, it will be reset selection where you can select the zero with zero MLP on the refresh and resets the MLP frequency to zero on power down and stop 
or will uh, if it is on uh, on one as per default, which you're going to be using in our case, which will it saves a frequency as we change it. So and we stop it or restart the drive, the frequency will be there. So let's have a look how that works. So here we go. Here's our station down here. There we go. We put it here, put the in, and as you can see, the buttons. This 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 kind of control becomes quite popular these days. If you don't want to use potential and you like this kind of system with the buttons, that's the way to go. And again, it will prevent you to activate both buttons. So, and obviously we have our e-stop. Once we click it, drive or will completely shut down. And we just need to reset all of that. So that's how the MLP control works. So next up, let's check out how to set up multi-frequency. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So the multi-frequency station is a setup, and we're going to be using a sort of a station like so. So it's speed one, two, and three. But this drive is capable of doing a lot more speeds than a three. This specific one, it can do fifteen speeds, and uh, the one at uh, the five three uh, five two three can do seven so do maybe aware of that now quickly run you through the uh, wiring and i'll show you how to understand which drive can do what so with the wiring we have a ditched uh for the e-stop because i just don't have enough cables coming to the station so i just linked it all out so that's linked in there but for the i still have this guy in here which will stop the drive in event of emergency uh, more or less so uh, but you still should have some form of external way of disconnecting it um, as you can see terminal uh, 11 comes to my uh, normal close contact and then leaves and goes back to terminal 1 as per then it sort of distributes the cables across all the uh, switches in here which one uh, if you can see in here my uh, uh, first normally open contact is going to be my my uh, run forward a signal and you do need to have a run signal for any of the speeds to work so be aware of that one so any speeds to go on it needs to have some form of a run signal so you can see in here you can use the run forwards or you can run even backwards if you wish to and add a bit more into the bigger longer station but i have a, a three selected switches in here that each one of them can can represent a different speed plus Combination them will represent other speeds as well, and that's the ones I'm going to talk through right now. So, uh, how to uh, really understand how that really works? Before we get into the how that really works, uh, we need to make some changes to our parameters. And the first one we obviously need to change is our a uh, so select that uh, these uh, program these uh, inputs in here which i have chose five uh, six and a seventh this is for my drive if you want to use three combinations of three cables like that for you for for the other drives would be a five and a six and a three you sort of will lose a driver uh, if you are using a five uh, five two three drive it doesn't have that many uh, inputs so you will have uh, for five two three drive you'll be using a uh, three five and a six but for me i have uh, quite a lot of drives i'm using five six and seven so and then uh, what i do in here i take uh, this guy in here which is a pre preset uh, frequency and i add to all three of those uh, inputs i add seven to it and they sort of listen as you can see it even tells you in here five two three digital you have to use three to five and six and only digital terminal block and uh, five two five uh, only for a uh, zero to five so zero to five basically allows me to have 15 uh, frequencies because i have additional input to do the bit changes so uh those are the things you need to change and another thing you need to change is uh you need to go to make sure p parameter 47 you are in a, a, a seven as well which pretty much going to tell the drive to read a uh, frequency from preset frequency sets in there and where do you uh, change your speeds uh, you do that in parameter A410 all the way to parameter A100, A425. Uh, let's enter that one. Uh, what was that? A4, oh, it's for all. Oh. We're all shut. 
So in regard, the first one will be the 0, next one is 5, 10, and you get the gist. So the first one will be our actual run uh, signal, which we can talk about in a, about in a minute. Uh, so once, the, once, once you select that, then you need to have a look at a sort of a breakdown of a graph. This is where sort of you can understand where those speeds and why those button selections happen. So you can see there, Bradley has nicely indicated that uh, preset speeds starting from 418 all the way to 425 are only for 525 uh, PowerFlex model because it has one and uh, no, actually two additional inputs to add to it, but you only need one more to achieve those extra speeds. So it tells you in here 15 for the uh, 525 and a 7 for 527 um, 5.23 drives. So I have 525, so I can do all 15. We're not going to be doing all 15 drive, uh, um, 15 speeds. I'm just going to show you how that really works. So to achieve a uh, uh, any uh, the, the preset speeds, as you can see, then this shows you the so inputs in here. And it shows you that if input uh, 1 is 0, pre uh, 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 no, not 1. The 5 is 0, which terminals, but for here that's inputs 5, 0, 6, 0, and 7, 0. And as soon as you activate the run signal, preset speed 1 is going to be uh, on. Uh, no, preset zero, 0 in here says it's going to be on. It sort of gives you a gist. So to get uh, preset setting uh, uh, 1, you need to sort of make sure the 5 is closed, but uh, the other uh, the rest of them are open. And then obviously for preset 2, then you need to close the 5 and close the 6 and then keep the 3 open and obviously the 4 if you're using the 4 game and so on. It's all about selecting a bit. If you uh, look at which switches you're going to select, those switches are going to be sort of a, uh, those bit a combination will uh, activate that coin at the speed. So uh, let me quickly put the cover on and I'll show you how that works. Here we go. So uh, I'm not going to go through and show you how to uh, the select, uh, change the numbers for the digital input programming things like that. We've already gone through this uh, so many times, so hopefully you are getting the gist. So uh, that's the station. So by selecting a any speeds, usually some drives actually show the, what speed is going to be running. But for a speed one to work, you DC, you need to have a run signal. As you can see, now it is on five. Now I'll select these two together. That would be my, actually, that would be my third speed. That is my uh, second uh, speed. As you can see, my deacceleration was quite a long one because I'll show you that in a minute why. So uh, these two is going to be three. So, and then if I turn these two off and I put that one on, that's going to be my four. I believe that's going to be my five. And I believe that is going to be my uh, sixth uh, speed. So uh, for this trigger, if I add another button, obviously you can keep going on for more selections. So that hopefully that gives you a uh, just how that works. So uh, yeah, there we go. So as you can see from the um, uh, sixth speed, I have very high deacceleration time. Don't know why Bradley then did that, but that's something to look out for if it bothers you. As you can see down here, it says in the default acceleration, the acceleration used, you need to see what accelerations are used. Acceleration 1 is used for this speed, and then obviously 2 and a 3, as you can see 6, it's got acceleration 2, and that one's still in a dry standing at, a, um, uh, at uh, 10 seconds, that's why it took so long to come down. So hopefully that is sort of uh, uh, makes, uh, gives you a good understanding how uh, that works and uh, which parameter was that acceleration? It, the, the, the acceleration and acceleration for the, uh, the second acceleration, there's a third and fourth acceleration. I think they are somewhere in A's. A, I can't remember which one is, but definitely check out the manual. You'll be able to find that out which A that is for. So make sure if you, if, uh, the, you are using uh, uh, these multi-frequency uh, these, uh, multi setups, I check out to make sure that the desired acceleration, the acceleration, because you basically, I think they're giving you just mix and match, so you can sort of mix uh, maybe one acceleration. Because remember, which whichever select switch you select and whatever the speed you write on it, and that could be any selection, and you can have that as any speed. So any speed number. So uh, that's why Alan Brand is giving you a chance or choice that you want probably one acceleration to go faster than uh, other. 
So uh, here we go. That's where you have uh, this nice selection. So that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude this drive. Of course, there's millions of things going on in that drive more that we have not covered. But I'm hoping that I have covered the most basic and most uh, used applications that the drive uh, could be used for. Obviously, in a higher industries, this is used a lot more than that. So on that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, smash that like. If you didn't, smash this like. Comment below what you like or don't like. And if you have any questions, definitely do ask them and I will answer them as clear as soon as I can. So on that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.